Puzzle game. I feel like the start of every video is just me fixing my hair because the curls are just not cooperating. All right, let's shoot this. Hey everyone. So today, finally at last, I'll be showing you guys how to make some of your own custom Spider-Man web shooters. Now these are going to be used for my custom Spider-Man cosplay uh, that hopefully will be finished soon. <laughs> it's kind of hit a rut with the whole coronavirus, that damn little bitch, but um, hopefully it won't stop me from doing what needs to be done. What needs to be done? I don't know, but yeah. So the first, the, the, the so some plus, <laughs> some things you're gonna need for this, for what I used for how to make these uh, custom web shooters is craft foam, an X-Acto knife, a heat gun, a couple pencils, uh, pens, whatever, and uh, magnets. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have to come up with some form of design you want, uh, whether it be a small web shooter like all the PS4 Spider-Man game or the uh, Amazing Spider-Man series, they all had little web shooters. That would just clip on to like the part of the wrist here, or you want to go like homecoming style and um, kind of just make big bulging ones that just show up on the costume. Now these specific ones were kind of uh, inspired by uh, the Disneyland Park and homecoming web shooters. Uh, the silver color and the actual like plating of it is inspired by Disneyland and the back is just inspired by the homecoming web shooters. And I decided to go with all, just like it being all silver, just cause it's a little uh, nod to the comics of like, you know, this web shooters being silver. So after I like drew kind of the design down, I took it to the foam, uh, the craft foam, and I cut it into two different pieces. The, I guess this is technically the bottom half. Sorry, I'm just flipping you off. So uh, the bottom half, I guess, is this the top or bottom? No one really knows. I'm just gonna call this the bottom. Actually, no, I should call it the top. So the top half, and then the bottom, uh, and then I tested it out, see if it would fit my wrist, and it did. And then after that, I took the X-Acto knife, uh, after cutting it out, I took the X-Acto knife, and I s kind of etched in a design that I wanted on it. Uh, basically, you just cut through the really thick, uh, not really thick, but like, is this is quarter inch? Yeah, about a quarter inch craft foam. I just etched it in kind of, didn't try to cut all the way through. And then I took the heat gun and I heated up the foam so that the pull, I, get, I, I don't know, I've heard this in multiple videos or like tutorials for craft foam or like foam building. It's like, it opens up the pores of it or something like that. And then it also makes it malleable. So as it, the pores are opening up and stuff and it was revealing the design, I formed it to my um, wrist so that it uh, would have less, it would just be more of this shape when it wasn't like, like, together. And then uh, after that, I just glued the two sides together. I glued two sides together so that uh, nothing would, so I wouldn't have to have like two separate pieces. Uh, and then on the side I didn't glue together, I added magnets in. It's just some, what are they called? Neodymium something magnets. I had a couple magnets lying around. And then I made a little support for this side with some, uh, I think it's an eighth of an inch craft foam. I'm not sure on measurements at all. Uh, I just used like an eighth of an inch, two pieces, uh, one that attaches to the back and then has the magnets glued to it. And then I just glued like a top half or the bottom half of it so it'd stay there. And then this side, I kind of like etched out a little hole for the magnets, <laughs> the magnets kind of sit in and covered it so that uh, the magnet, <laughs> hey, I can't talk. The magnets wouldn't fly out or just kind of detach. And yeah, that's how basically the actual build goes. And then for painting it, uh, usually when you're working with uh, EVA foam or craft foam, you want to have a rubber sealant uh, painted on first. Uh, usually people, usually cosplayers, they use uh, Plasti Dip. Uh, I don't have that <laughs> in my location, so I just used some Rust-Oleum um, uh, rubber sealant that they sell where I live, and that works just as great, obviously, and uh, helps not let the paint kind of soak into the foam because that happens if you don't like have a rubber sealant over it, uh, the paint will kind of soak in, and you don't want that. And then after that, I just hit uh, it with some gloss black from Rust-Oleum, just because uh, when you're painting something silver, you want to hit it with 
some gloss black so it shines a little bit more. That's apparently what happens. Uh, that's how you're supposed to do it. That's at least what I heard. And you hit it with the silver. This is what I got. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I also used the pencil caps. I cut off some pencils and then I used that as the spray nozzle. Kind of see there. I used it as the spray nozzle and it works just fine. I just glued it on. And uh, yeah, that's how I made these little web shooters. Um, yeah, like obviously these aren't perfect. They have a lot of like little things wrong with it. But when you're just kind of out, you're not gonna really notice there's just gonna be web shooters. Like that, yeah, so, and I really like what I did with them. I really like the design of them, and they fit my wrist nicely because they're custom made for my wrist size, which is ridiculously small. And uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, these are how I made some custom web shooters. Uh, you can now make your own. Uh, these are supposed to be just really simplistic and not crazy. Like, you know, you can't like, um, insert your own kind of like uh, web cartridges or anything. No, it's just a simple design. You know, you can use this design uh, to make uh, maybe the Disneyland uh, web shooters or the, uh, or just like, some classic comic book ones. You know, just do whatever you want with it, uh, with this tutorial. Uh, hopefully it helped you guys create your own uh, web shooters. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for this video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.